Hello everyone, I'm Amanda Situai, and today I want to talk about the rise and fall of a popular comic strip I'm a big fan of, Big Nate. I mean, you can probably tell I'm a fan of Big Nate because of my video making the main characters into Mies in Smash Ultimate. But anyways, Big Nate started as a comic strip written by Lincoln Purse that later got adapted into eight chapter books for kids, as well as a Nickelodeon cartoon. I became a fan of Big Nate ever since I read the books in third grade. In later middle school, I made my own GoComics.com account, and I viewed all the Big Nate comics up until this day. The Big Nate comics were really good, but over time, they started to become less enjoyed by me and some other Big Nate fans on GoComics.com. So, what happened? What led to the rise and fall of Big Nate? Well, that's what I'm going to be discussing today. Before I start, make sure to like, subscribe, and enjoy my content. I'm always want to hear your feedback. But anyways, let's talk about the rise and fall of Big Nate. So, Big Nate first started as a comic strip on January 7th, 1991. For modern day Big Nate fans, these are definitely pretty weird, from how the characters looked to how some characters we never see much, as well as no Sunday strips and no real story arcs. But the comic series quickly started to get popular back then, and eventually Sunday strips started on February 10th, 1991. Around this time, Big Nate also started to have actual story arcs, featuring multiple daily strips running through Monday through Saturday that would cover them. There were also Sunday strips that weren't part of an arc, usually, and just meant to be a standalone joke. Now, about the story arcs, these usually feature Nate, as well as some of the other characters back then. Nate's big sister, Ellen, Nate's dad, Nate's mean teacher, Mrs. Godfrey, Nate's best friend, Francis, and a few others. There weren't many characters back then, but over time, from then till the early 2000s, they added more characters that became main characters later on, like Nate's crush, Jenny, Nate's second best friend, Teddy, and Nate's enemy, Gina. There were also some characters that got added in, like Sheila and Mrs. Clark, for example, that seemed like they were going to be the main characters, but they ended up just becoming random background characters that don't really appear much anymore. The comics were about Nate's life in middle school, getting in trouble, and also cartooning. We got to see some of Nate's comics back then, and they were pretty funny. Over time, however, Big Nate started to change. Big Nate definitely went through some different times. In my opinion, the Big Nate comics were best throughout 1998 through 2017. They just seemed to have the best overall jokes and characters put into them throughout then. The comics would be about Nate going through a normal 6th grade life, with some comic mischief thrown in. But overall, they were pretty relatable, as the stuff that happened was usually stuff that could happen in real life as a normal kid in middle school. It was just a little bit more craziness thrown in for comic purposes. The comics got super popular among kids, and so they got adapted into 8 chapter books that were published throughout 2010 through 2016. They f these featured all the characters in the Big Nate comics that would have an original story to them, but the story would usually have references to the comics, such as the time in the comics where Nate and Teddy thought Mrs. Godfrey was moving away, only for her to move one house away and still be teaching at Nate's school. There were also some new characters, that, such as Breckenridge and Ruby, who are book exclusive, and Dee Dee, who first appears in the comics in 2016. Dee Dee was added in the comics as sort of the girl character in Nate's group of friends, sort of replacing Shelia's old character. Having Dee Dee add a nice touch to the comics throughout 2016-2017, but 2018 marks where Big Nate started to fall. Throughout 2018, instead of posting new comics, Lincoln Purse did remasters of the old comics that appeared in the four classic comic collection books, Big Nate, What Could Possibly Go Wrong, Big Nate, Here Goes Nothing, Big Nate, Genius Mode, and Big Nate, Muster Popularity. Now, I get that Lincoln Purse is doing this for nostalgia. Heck, I actually kind of enjoyed it, actually. But among most fans, they didn't really enjoy this. Most fans wanted to see something new, and not old, and they made a big deal about it in the comments on GoComics.com whenever there was a repost of an old comic. Eventually, new Big Nate comics returned in 2019, but personally, I feel like Big Nate comics started to get worse from here. The comics started to get more repetitive, and the characters started losing their good personalities. Let's start with Nate. Back in the good old days, Nate was an egotistical jerk that got in trouble at school a lot, and he would be a jerk to his friends sometimes, so they would sometimes act like jerks to him. But overall, they still had a good friendship. But nowadays, it's different. Nowadays, it honestly feels like Nate's friends are bigger jerks than him most of the time. Which doesn't feel right at all. Another big character I feel like they killed was Chad. He used to have a lot more character, but now he's just used for power of Chad and food jokes. Which is just kind of lame and two-dimensional, if you ask me. So the characters aren't that good. But what about the story arcs? Well, they're also kind of bad now. In fact, I'm willing to say that every story arc written thus far in 2022 has been at least somewhat bad. The RC now usually about either the following, Nate being egotistical, Nate having some boring chat slash meeting with some random character, Nate getting in trouble at school, or Nate getting ready to do something that seems interesting, but the strip takes forever before Nate does it to the point you lose interest, and the ending ends up being really boring and or predictable. Alas, Big Nate is just going down a bad path to losing all the good stuff about it. What's really sad up is that this stuff is bound to happen for every book series or comic series. Eventually, it just has to die.